you are watching the pitch uh, i will now open it up to tejas to ask all the questions he wants of akilesh tejas it's all yours yeah sure so let me just start by digging into you know uh, your customers yeah so you've been operation for 6 months right 6 7 months yeah right. so uh, what are your sales till date in 6 months the sales have been around i mean uh, around 1000 sales 1000 units in total right? yeah till now. so that's around roughly around say 500 rupees per uh, unit that's how much you look yeah yeah okay. arpu is around 500 Okay. Now let's say suppose you know the product is priced at let's say 100 rupees MRP. Right. Right. Now how much uh, at uh, what discount do you buy it from uh, you know your supplier? It depends which uh, supplier we are talking about. You just give me a range. The range is from 70 rupees to 90 rupees. So basically you're talking about a, about a 10 to 30 percent discount, right? Exactly. Okay. And uh, so I mean, is there like basically do you have to pay the supplier anything to you know to supply to you or it's just uh, you know you just take the delivery i mean we just take the delivery and we work on credit with them for about one month okay on most of them yeah okay and what is the proportion of uh, you know your sales you know like uh, and basically plus this 10 to 30% we also mark it up i mean an mrp of 100 rupees will be available for 120 rupees on uh, mithai made so okay. we get a 50% 50% window 30% discount and 20% mark up so we get a 50% window in which we can play our logistics and we can play our profits you're, you're charging more than uh, yeah. Yeah, the store is it but the thing is that we are not we are saying that we are giving free shipping to the consumer and we are not really we are okay. giving a consolidated cost to the consumer okay. and uh, include so it's cheaper if i go to the store it is yeah okay it is currently yes it is okay, but okay. we are trying to tweak that model right now okay, because sure. the, the, the okay so let's just let's just move from that i mean i'm, yeah. ju I'm just thinking about uh, what what proportions you know of your sales are basically gifts you know gifts versus let's say uh, you know actually 80% are gift 20% are self consumption 80% are gifts okay yes. now so you're set up in how many cities so far we are set up in jammu delhi bombay okay. bangalore and now we are in talks with i mean in principle we have got an order from people in kolkata okay. and people in jalandhar you okay. mean suppliers suppliers okay. yeah right. so okay so basically you do around let's say around 500 units a month right and basically in terms of costs right uh, just give me a breakdown of you know your uh, you know of the costs you know which you guys are at your fixed costs and your variable costs uh the fixed cost are very very minimal because right now we don't have any uh, i mean apart from the website hosting and everything okay. we don't really have too much of staff no no salaries nothing to pay okay. so whenever we get paid from the customer we just pay it down to the uh, supplier okay. and we pay it down to the logistic yeah. guy and we keep our share from it so okay. this fixed cost is really not much okay in terms of variable costs like basically so it would depend upon the order the shipping right it would be shipping plus your supplier the mithai vendor okay whether. so basically we can leave out the mithai vendor now how much does it cost you for the logistics and the shipping for the like what what arrangements do you have over there uh, in logistics we have got multi tiered arrangements as in for 6 hours to 24 hours turn around time we have got tie ups in city level from city level we move on to the national level so these are tie ups with logistics logistics fellows and as well as we also keep uh, i mean uh, there there are pro i mean people who are available on day to day basis if you need okay them. so basically if i look at your company how many people do you employ right now none so it's just four of you guys four of you. and everything is outsourced it's just yeah. a completely yeah. outsourced yeah. model yeah. yeah so basically let's say just a hypothet hypothetical scenario right now suppose right. your orders go by 10x yeah. like suddenly you know everybody sort of by time it and you yeah. know right. and you know, your orders <laughs> just go automatically yeah. right um I mean is there at any point that you know your current structure breaks down I mean is there a scalability issue which is in which uh, scalability issue would come in surely because uh, right. uh, when we kind of move up on uh, the number of uh, sales that we are getting in because right now we what we are working okay, on Okay but where would it break down I mean just give me the exact point you know would it break down with the supplier would it break down with the supply chain with the supply chain the supplier okay. obviously they all are big stores okay. so, so supply they, chain how would it break down I mean basically it would break will down the guy tell you that okay boss I can't deliver so many units or uh, Uh, no. Yeah, your logistics guy should be able should to do. Be, he would be able to deliver. The thing is that uh, if he charge you more, is it? He'll charge. No, he'll rather charge me less. Yeah. But the fact is that right now everything is not very automated. Everything is very very uh, manual. So okay. when once I get an order, I kind of mail. Uh, oh, okay, do, so it breaks down basically in your company. Like exactly. Basically, the four of you guys will like boss. We've suddenly got all these orders and we don't know what to do. I mean, oh. we know what to do, but it's just going to take a lot of time. We just run out of man hours to be able yeah. to do. Yeah, man hours right. and okay. tracking okay. issues will come in and something of that yeah. sort. But you happen. can hire someone at a clerical That's level right. to be able to take care of that, right? Then then yeah. we have to staff people. and then those levels yes I happen to go to your website and I see that you guys have got like you know some good amount of press right I mean right. you have covered in a bunch right. of newspapers right right so why it's a unique concept yeah so I mean like basically how much of a jump up in sales did you see from the press there is a spike every time we get okay but how much how much was it it, it's, I mean, like, it varies around 20 to 25 percent. Okay, like I mean, like basically, do those uh, customers? I'll, come I'll back? be honest. I'll be honest because initially when we launched, we could not make much sales. But once we started being featured okay. in the press, people started getting to know okay, about us. Do they us. come back? Yeah, we have got a healthy number of repeat customers. Okay, and these us. are customers from India or from overseas? Both. Okay, like what's the mix? Like yeah, the mix yeah. is 50, 60, 50, 60. I mean, 50, uh, 60, 40. 60 would be your NRIs and 40 would be Indians. Okay. So, uh, but the repeat customers, I think, is 50, 50 in both. Sure. Why Mithai's? 
why mithai because i told you people are uh, doing uh, flowers and all and and uh, nobody is doing mithai and that's I not true if you get on to readif.com yeah. i think you can actually send out a box of laddus you may not have as much variety as your website exactly. has, so but it, you can i mean it meets a certain purpose if you want to send out a box of laddus to some if you are living in canada and you want to send a box of laddus on it's not about doing the thing it's about doing it properly in fact it's cheaper than what you see the problem is this is that you know if i you know if i'm sitting in san francisco and i need to send something to let's say bombay right i go into google and i think you know i don't think okay i need to send a box of mithais i think i need to send gifts and i go into gifts to india right and then a whole lot of choices come up you know and then it's the question of you know it's not just mithais but then you're competing against you know other goods as well i mean basically basically you know the your customers thinking hey you know instead i could send like flowers or chocolates or diya thalis or any thali, god thali, idea thali, thali, all of those yeah. Yeah. those those things we kind of include yeah. in our hampers i mean dil diya thalis and your rakhi thalis and your bhai doos yeah. thalis and all those kind of little little uh, modifications we do in yeah. our site as well i mean okay yeah. so so do you see us as more as a gifting portal or like a, or as an online we store we started off as a gifting portal the gifting part remains there but we want to move on to something of a mass consumer uh, website and for that we are trying to change the pricing structure kind of get it Mass consumer, sir. Are you talking about you know everybody in India who wants to have it? I mean, on an average, I've noticed that in, in my family and other families, I've noticed five to six times in a year. People. No, but is there any particular logic for choosing mitai other than the fact that okay, I like mitai? So no, no, it's not that I like mitai. Yeah. Is it that it, it's a market? At least in uh, the online space, nobody yeah. was doing it properly, and I thought I can uh, exploit in the proper fashion. So we started doing it. Okay, uh, and I plus see. we can scale it up to other things like cakes and. Uh, but it's uh, interesting because it's a food item that needs to be consumed very fresh. So often people prefer if you are if you are buying it for immediate consumption, you prefer to just walk down to the closest store and buy something as opposed to get onto a website, yeah. locate. I think that's you a, know that's a great point part. because I mean there's an element of instant gratification in mitai yeah. because you're like hey that I need instant mithai. gratification will come from my side because I was discussing it with somebody like suppose some you are from Chennai and Mysore Park is very famous in Chennai yeah. and you happen to relocate to Delhi and don't you don't find my sur park anywhere and you know that the next morning i can deliver it to you you'll definitely yeah. come down to my site and get it yeah. same goes for somebody who wants a mathura ka peda or who wants yeah. a thaggu ke laddu from kanpur and stuff like that yeah. so those kind of stuff would be available on my site and but those just those guys are not yet available or linked to your website you haven't yet my sur park yes my sur park yes but you haven't worked out all the you the have only things. what uh, what seven or eight suppliers is yes exactly, as yet exactly, as you've counted yeah. out for us and mathura ka peda yeah it's available it is? because bridge wasi as i told you he's okay. he's with us okay, okay. so how much are your shipping cost you like basically. the shipping depends uh, if it's the same day same uh, city shipping it's it's uh, slightly on the higher side but on the uh, if it's a national shipping then we have got preferential rates from these logistic companies like blue dart and tnts and everybody okay now suppose you know you buy the product for let's say 100 from yeah. you know the from your supplier right uh, how much extra are you paying for shipping right now like let's say okay, just give me a percentage is like 10% like, 15% 20% yeah 10 to 15% depending upon which place i'm sending it okay so 10 to 15% exactly so how much are you looking to raise we are looking to raise uh, about the seed fund of 20 to 25 million 25 lakhs is it yeah. and how do you want to spend that we want to spend that to uh, in three ways we want to staff more people yeah uh, we want to uh, do some technological investments as i told you we are still working well, on where are these people going to come in like the people you want to staff uh, the thing is that we have understood that the online space requires people who have had some amount of experience i mean people who can do the seo properly or oh, you need seo people seo people okay, okay, people okay. who can do google adwords better sure, than sure. so it's i would SEO. not Yeah, search engine optimization. Ah, okay, so, thanks, fine. Right. So, so basically, uh, so you know those ads which come. Yeah, I got it, got it. Because yeah. we have won some amount of money ourselves on AdWords, so we would not really want to keep on experimenting. Rather, I mean, and reinvent the wheel. So we would yeah. rather want people who. But you can outsource that, right? I mean, you, you can, can outsource that as well. But then it's always good to have your own people because you can. They sure. will be at the beck and call, and they can always work. Wow. Okay, that was rapid fire. We need to take a quick break. We're going to come back and ask Tejas for his verdict on Akhilesh's business plan. Well, I mean, I think there are two core uh, challenges which which uh, you know come out of the picture. Thank you.